Hi, my name is Eli Worth, and this is Spoiler Alert. If you don't want the movie ruined for you, mute my face until the video is over. Okay, so uh, this weekend I saw The Magnificent Seven, which is a western, which is pretty refreshing, because like I feel like all movies that they make now are like either with Tom Hanks doing something crazy or like. I don't know, just some like sci-fi with a ton of CGI, and so like this was like this was refreshing to have like a new genre in the mix. There, there wasn't a lot of story in this movie. It's like I would really call it action-based because um, they get like right to the point. Like it's 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 pretty much like you you get all the characters, you set it up, and it's like all right, let's go, it's time to fight. But um. I did think the characters were really cool because they had like a really diverse group. You know how to shoot that thing? I'm good. It's all mine. He's local, my friend. Oh, we're good. We got a Mexican. I sense we are bonding. Oh. You don't have a lot of those like character moments in the movie when like they talk to each other. Like they have like a uh, downtime and stuff like before like the big battle, but like it's not a movie that you see to like hear the, the story of like these people. It's to hear about like, it's like more like the history and like the legend, which is like very like Western. These men need inspiration. Inspire them. You are good night Roba show after all. Ain't you? It's really action based. Like 75% of the movie, I would definitely say, is just like pew, 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 pew. Everyone's just like getting shot like everywhere, which is like, that's not like a new thing. Like there are other action movies like that today where it's just like all violence and like, and it's entertaining. Like it doesn't feel that new, um, but it's definitely, it's like really cool to like see that. And like, especially cause like, like I said, it's refreshing cause it's not like lasers. <laughs> Some fancy there. You don't get very attached to the characters because you don't get to talk to them that much, and like, and that's frankly okay because like four out of the three of them die, so and like, and it's not that like, and you and you don't even like have that much time to like process their deaths, so like it doesn't feel that like, like like crazy, like it's all like sacrificing. Dan, you dead? Pity. I had just ordered a drink from that man. Like the the villain himself, like he really doesn't get that much screen time. It's like fifteen percent, and so like most of what you learn about him is through like other people's dialogue, which is like fitting, I guess, because like they don't need to spend a whole lot of time. Like you see some of it, because because the whole reason that everyone's like pissed at him is that like uh, he's taken everybody's land, and like. He's just he's just a jerk. Like they make that very clear. He's like, I get what I want because I take it. That man murdered my husband. I want something. I take it. He will take everything we have. I wouldn't say for like the average person who's just going to the theater to like see a movie, I wouldn't say it's like a must see. Yeah, that that's what I thought of the movie. I'm Eli Worth. This has been Spoiler Alert. And if you see me at the movies, Buy me some Twix.